If you vote for me, I will be pushing a social housing policy. And that social housing policy is to remove people from the crazy situation of being in bed and breakfast, which is expensive to the county council to keep them there, isn't what people want, isn't usually adequate accommodation anyway, and to put them into their own dwellings. Now, whether those are going to be houses or flats or apartments is a different issue. But all of us, with very, very few rare exceptions, want our own front door that we can close, that we can decide who comes into our house and what we do. We don't want to live in a and b We don't want to live in a, even less in a hostel. And it, hostels are okay for holidays. They're not okay to live on a permanent basis, especially if you've got a family, you've got a husband or wife and children. You don't. You want a unit of your own that you can say, that's ours, that's where we live, we do as we like there. And our problem in this county and throughout the country is that we're not short of houses. You may have noticed there was a building boom and an awful lot of houses were built. And an awful lot of those houses are standing around empty. And it's a question of marrying up the people who are homeless to the houses that are empty. And it's a matter of political will to do that. It's also a matter, of course, of, of the legalities. But as we've unfortunately found to our cost, if the law doesn't suit those who are in power and you know those who are in, in Dublin, in government, they will change the law. So why can't we insist, as a, a county, that we want the law changed if it doesn't suit? And actually, it wouldn't take if anything, in a way, much of a change in the law, those empty houses could and should be leased by the County Council on some terms with the developers. Because why, you know, as standing idle, they'll rot. With people in them, they won't. Now, of course, there may be a problem over having houses in the right place for people to live. But most people from all over the county would happily live in a rural edge, I mean the edge of one of the small towns close to the countryside and that's mostly where the estates are. Now maybe they don't want to live on a housing estate, maybe they'd like to live in an isolated house in the country and maybe the county council can't afford to do that. But they used to do that. Um, there are cottages around in West Cork now which were built by the county council which had half an acre of land and people were put into those cottages and they effectively had a garden, they could grow some of their own stuff, they had a decent environment in which to live. And it, it's a question of what do people want, what can be provided, and trying to come to some compromise between those two things. So I'm not promising people heaven, and certainly even if I get onto the council, my influence is limited, because I'm only one. We have three candidates in the county at the moment, if we're all three of us get elected, our influence is still very small. But persistently, you know, I, I read reports in the Irish Examiner of county councillors of the other parties saying things which I would happily say because they're people from West Cork. They've got some degree of common sense. And whatever the official party line is, they know the whole housing situation is a disgrace. To have homeless people and empty houses and not marry the two up is crazy. We may need to do some social house building if we can't get houses that are already built in, into useful occupation, but to effectively not to come up with some scheme which would allow us to lease those houses and get on with it instead of having people in B&Bs. And one of the contributory factors to people leaving the country is the fact that you don't have anywhere decent to live. If you have nowhere decent to live and you don't have a, a job, why would you stay here? Why not go somewhere else?